Hey guys, it's your girl Pixie. I'm back with another video for y'all. Um, my video today is going to be about my trip to Vegas. Um, uh, I just can't wait to get into this video, y'all. I'm so excited. Uh, but before we start this video, I need y'all to check my nails out. I painted my nails green for my Vegas trip. I wanted some... I wanted a real flashy color for my trip to Vegas, so I painted my nails. I did my nails myself. Um, my Instagram is painted by Pixie. Um, I'm from Philadelphia, and I have only been doing nails since about March, March, April, May, June, July. It's almost it's almost October, so I've been doing nails for about six, seven months now. These are my nails. I did it myself. Obviously, this hand is going to be better. Um, and you know. Yeah, these are my nails. I did it myself. And um, we're going to give y'all some toe cam, too, because I hooked my feet up. Toe cam. I did these myself as well. Okay, so I went to Vegas um, Monday through Friday. I just got back yesterday. And I had an amazing time, guys. I had the time of my motherfucking life y'all um obviously the coronavirus is going on right now so no strip clubs are open and um i'm not gonna say no bars because i'm telling y'all now like it's liquor everywhere even if y'all can't buy no liquor from the store y'all can get liquor from cvs walgreens everywhere it was some stuff open but i'm just saying if y'all couldn't cvs and everything is open down there all right, so this is that was my first. This was my first time traveling since I was nine years old. Um, this is my first time traveling since I was nine. Um, I have not went in a while, so it's been twenty years, damn near, since I went on a vacation. Um, I went with a girlfriend of mine, Sine. I know y'all heard me say Sine before. Um, I met Sine through my very first girlfriend in two thousand and fifteen. Um, I went with her. I went with her cousin and about four more other people, uh, but mostly my whole trip was with Sine. Um, shout out to her because if it wasn't for her, I probably wouldn't have even went in the first place. Um, she just was like, come on. I'm like, no, I'm trying to save my car. She like, girl, just come on. I dance. I'm like, girl, you can make that money back. You better go on that fucking trip. So I went. I had a good time. Um, I got on the plane, y'all. I'm not going to lie. I was a little scary at first because it was my first time on a plane for a while. I wasn't as scared coming back as I was coming, but I was a little scary. But um, overall, you know, it was it was it was a pretty good plane ride both ways back. It, it the tri the plane ride back was quicker than the plane ride there as always. It's always like that. Um, um, I'm I'm going to tell y'all if depending on you, this is the first thing I'm gonna tell y'all about Vegas. If you don't drink like that and you're not a heavier drinker, don't drink. Like, do not drink. Because I know you. everybody tell you you want to go out to Vegas, get fucked up, get tore up, da 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 Like, if that's what you get into and you can stay up and you can party all night and that's you about that life, go for it. But if you're not, do not do it. Like, one night, I don't drink like that. Um, I quit drinking about, a, um, in about 2018. Now, I'm not going to say I don't drink at all. But I don't drink, drink, drink like I used to. I used to be a heavy fucking drinker. I can fucking hang. But I'm not about that life no more. And one night um, while we was in Vegas, I was drinking at night, you know, a little more than usual. And, like, I mean, it was still kind of late. It was, like, 12, 1. But, you know, after a while, I was like, you know, I'm I'm tired. Like, I'm not really trying to, you know, I'm, I'm done. Like, I was falling asleep and everything. I found myself dozing off. So I had to go back in the room. Now, my, the people I was staying in the room with, they came back like an hour or two later than me. So, I wasn't, I didn't completely miss out, you know. I was just ready to go now. Especially if you're not going to be there that long, you don't want to get fucked up. Because if you get too fucked up, you're going to spend most of your night sick and shit. And you're going to be mad as shit that you spent your whole time in the fucking hotel instead of out in Vegas. So, like I said, I only missed out on an hour or two of fun. So, it was a little different for me. But if you're not about that drinking life, don't fucking do it. Because if your trip ain't that long, if you stay in for a month, get fucked up. You know, you got a whole month. But if you're only staying there for like four or five days... Don't get all fucked up because you're going to waste a lot of your time being in that bed fucked up and you're going to miss out on your trip. But if you're about that life, get fucked up. Get fucked up. Get fucked up. All right. So I stayed at the Flamingo in Vegas. Um, it's on a strip, obviously. It was beautiful. It was pink. You know, I love pink. So that was that was the move for me. 
I love the Flamingo. I definitely will be going back to that hotel. I'm going to stay at the same hotel because I heard, you know, you gamble and all that shit at the same hotel. Like, you get enough points, you get free rooms and stuff like that. So, I'm going to stay at the same hotel. I am definitely going back without a doubt. Um, I, if I would have brought my daughter with me, I would not have even fucking left. I'm sorry. I would have stayed there for at least, an, uh, at least a month. And, um, yeah, um, I'm going to say this. When you get out there, you gonna peep. You can make a lot of money out there. Like if you don't have no job, you can still make money. It's people out there dressing up as different shit. You dress up, you put a fucking costume on. It's tourists out there. They gonna want to take a lot of pictures. So you put a fucking costume out there and you fucking walk up that street for two, three hours. I promise you, you'll come home at least like four or five hundred dollars. It's hot as shit out there though, y'all. So. Like, how it's in Philly, it's about, like, what, a low, like, 60, 65, maybe. I don't know exactly what kind of weather it is, but it's, like, 60, 65. In Vegas right now, it's probably, like, 90, 100, possibly even, like, 110. Our days wasn't too bad. It was only, like, 90, but I heard it gets hot as shit, like, 110. I, I, I experienced that while I was out there. We must have went on a good week. It's, the, you know, heading towards the end of the summer, so September, so that's probably why. Um, I heard August is the hottest, just like here is the hottest. Um... I cried so many times while I was in Vegas. I opened up the window and I just cried. I could not believe that I was in Vegas. I could not believe that I took that trip. I just could not believe I was there. And I have been through a lot of shit in my life. I don't have no friends right now. Me and my ex-girlfriend, we was talking for like two weeks. We not talking right now. Um, I got the friend I went on a trip with. I got one friend. I see her. Sarah, shout out to you. Sarah's my baby. She been on the phone with me, but we don't see each other every single day. And then my other close friend, she moved to Delaware. I came back. I did not want to leave Vegas because I, I felt like, with the exception of my daughter, I ain't have shit to fucking come back to. I don't have shit here. And you know what? Honestly, I don't got shit right now. And I'm the most happiest I've ever probably been in my fucking life. Um, I don't got shit holding me back. So that means the world is mine. Um, I cried every day and I, I loved it. Um... Like I said, it's my first trip, so sky's the limit for me at this point. Um, I go to the malls, and we went out in the street, and just CVS got liquor, and this is in the It's to make you feel like, damn, like, Philly tree, that's like shit. That's the whole thing I kept thinking was like, damn, Philly really do us dirty. Like, it's, it's really, I mean, I know obviously it's a tourist place, and it's going to be nicer than the next, and, you know, every single state's not like that. But it just really make you just be like, damn, like, it just make you want to feel like you deserve better. It changed my attitude. It changed my vibe. And you know what? To be honest, I don't care if I live in Philadelphia for the rest of my life. I'm definitely going to be traveling for the rest of my life, too. So it's like, if it's, it's not where you at, it's where you going. I'll put it like that. It'd be nice to move somewhere else, and I probably will move somewhere else. We, I, I, I'm not, I don't know about that yet. But I know for sure, for sure, like... Every three months, every four months, now I want to start taking vacations. So it's like if you vacation and you venture on off a lot, you really not gonna kind of care where you living at because you don't have to deal with it all the time. So I'm not, I'm not sure, but I did want to take two years and decide where to move or stay in Philly. I want to do travel two years and see what I want to do. Might stay in Philly, I might not. We'll see. That's to be continued. It's absolutely beautiful out there, y'all. It's so damn nice out there. It's Everything is pretty. Everything is nice. Everything is lit up. Every store, every even the McDonald's was nice. Like even the McDonald's was different. It was just so beautiful. Like everything, bathrooms. It could be bathrooms in like a gas station or something or like a little corny bar, and the bathrooms are still way better than you know the ones in Philly. Like every bathroom is not gonna be the most exquisite bathroom, but like. A lot of, like, even most most of them are really, really nice. And um, it was just, I am I don't want to spend too long on this video, you know what I mean? Y'all got to go out there and experience that for yourself. But I definitely had a beautiful experience, and I want to travel more. And I am just going to be out here from here on out. And, guys, just, I ain't going to say too much about it. Y'all go out yourself and y'all venture out. Um, I stayed at the Flamingo um, Hotel Resort. And one more thing I'm going to tell y'all, even though my skin is not that good right now because it just looked crazy, it looked way worse in Vegas. 
So I don't know if what y'all want to do about your skin or really treat that good. You know, I didn't have the same face treatments as I did in Vegas as I have in Philly. So my face looked a little off and a little crazy, but it looked way worse in Vegas. So I don't, I don't know what to tell y'all that, but just be, you know, note, note that your skin might be a little off on your trip to Vegas. And um, I did drink plenty of water. Drink plenty of water, y'all. Stay hydrated. Um, it be hot as shit out there, and you're gonna be. And if you do drink a lot, you're gonna be out there drinking. So stay hydrated or whatever. And um, y'all, I don't have my waist trainer off. I still got a gut, as y'all can see. But I'm starting to get a little snizzed. But um, yeah, y'all. Thank y'all for watching my video. Um, thank y'all for any of the new subscribers, old subscribers. And speaking of waist, I need y'all go on my videos. I got a couple of videos about my waist trainer and the waist trainer that I do use. Please follow my um Instagram, painted by Pixie underscore dot a, a zero, and then the letter O. That is my nails. I am a fully nail tech. And um, I love you guys, and I will see you on the other side. Mwah.